Refraction is the bending of light as it travels at an angle from one transparent medium into another. This next statement is actually two statements in one, so I'll read them both. When light goes from a less optically dense medium to a more optically dense medium, it bends toward the normal. When light goes from a more optically dense medium to a less optically dense medium, it bends away from the normal. It has been found that light obeys the principle of least time, also called Fermat's principle. So in the picture here, this pencil, you know that it's not the pencil that is actually bent. It simply looks like it's bent because the light bends as it goes from air into water and water into air. So we'll try and explain that further. Let's try to explain refraction by using an example with a drowning person and a lifeguard at the beach. The path of least distance between the lifeguard and the drowning person is of course a straight line. But the lifeguard is interested in getting to the person in the least amount of time, not necessarily traveling the least distance. So this lifeguard is going to take a path indicated here which means at the boundary between the beach and the ocean if we draw an imaginary line called a normal perpendicular to the boundary the lifeguard's path will bend toward the normal when going from a medium in which he travels faster into a medium in which he travels slower if we turn this around and let's say we're swimming down here in the lower left and our picnic basket is up here in the upper right and someone is making off with our food again we want to get to that person in the least amount of time we, so we want our food back so we're gonna take a path that goes more like this and then when we get from the medium where we travel slower which is the ocean into the medium in which we travel faster the beach then our path you can see is going to bend away from the normal light does the same thing with regard to media in which it travels faster or slower when it's going from a faster medium to a slower it bends toward the normal when it's going from a slower medium into one in which it travels faster it bends away from the normal so let's say we have a very thick piece of glass here light hits this rabbit and here we are on the other side and here's a very thick piece of glass in between us light from the sun hits the rabbit reflects in all directions let's take one ray we're gonna call it an incident ray because it is incident on that boundary there's the normal to the boundary the angle of incidence is measured relative to the normal not the surface when light goes from a less dense medium to a more dense medium it's going to bend toward the normal you can see that the refracted ray has an angle of refraction that is smaller than the angle of incidence so this light ray has bent towards the normal then since we have in this case a second boundary it turns out that the angle of incidence for the second boundary and the angle of refraction for the first boundary are numerically equal if these two surfaces are parallel to each other when this light then leaves the more dense medium and goes into the less optically dense medium the air it's going to bend away from the normal and there's your angle of refraction for the second boundary if you were to want to shoot this rabbit with this object assuming that there would be no deviation a bullet for example would miss the rabbit However, if you used a laser costing one million dollars, the laser light would bend toward the normal, then away from the normal, and zap the rabbit. Refraction is the bending of light as it travels at an angle between different transparent media. Refraction occurs because light adheres to the principle of least time, or Fermat's principle. Angles of incidence and angles of refraction are measured relative to an imaginary line, the normal, that is everywhere perpendicular to the boundary. Finally, this last statement is actually two statements in one. I'll go ahead and read it twice.
twice. When light goes from a less optically dense medium to a more optically dense medium, it bends toward the normal. When light goes from a more optically dense medium to a less optically dense medium, it bends away from the normal.